Why are you always able to do that to me? Alright, where's the flower? Here. What the hell is that? Is that a house plant? Wow, That's fever flu. So, but this is the flower? I didn't need wild fever flu, did I? It was violet snowdrop and desert sage. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Here we are. So they're the purple looking ones. Interesting. Okay, so that's one. Four more to go. Oh, is this it? Is this the one? Yeah, I think this is it. Oh god. Ah, 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 ah. No, no, not fair. Yes, more Desert Sage. Okay, three more. <laughs> We've got this. We can do this. Three more to go. God, I felt so dumb <laughs> not realizing that the... I think it was... Was it Outlaw who told me to look for it? I don't know. I just thought it was super weird that they didn't put anything on my map, and it's like the only time they've never put anything on my map. And of course, it's the one time I actually need to just do this out of instinct. I don't see any whiteness, so it must be it. Yeah, baby! Two more. Hell yeah. I don't know where Wes Dickens is, so hopefully once I pick up everything, he'll actually just show up on the map. Oh, oh, behind me. There's something. It better not be fever flu. It's not! One more. There you are. Then I gotta go find the other shit. Gonna let me get on or what? Okay, one more. Let's go. I could show up for one second and then nope. Oh, 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 here it is. This is the one. Yes, 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 yes. Fuck ah, yes. Okay, that's done. Whew. Okay, now what's next? Violet snowdrops, and that's in tall trees. Okay. Am I in tall trees yet? Oh, a mythical creature. Wait. Come on, come on. Uh, which horse is this one? Which horse are you? Is this pestilence? I get pestilence. Well, it does not want me to ride it. Which I think means it's glitched again. Come here. I think this one is Pestilence. Come here. Let me on. Nope, I can't do it. Cookies, salty ones. Gay man likes Doritos and anime they like Dorito too. I was kind of close. I did say Gay Kappa. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not going to be getting that one. Sometimes this game does like to glitch. This happened when I tried to get the Warhorse the first time too. Which makes me a little worried. Only a smidge though. I'm sure I can come back and get them later though. Or I think that one was Famine. It did look like it was a bit on the anorexic side. There's a Sasquatch somewhere in here. I need to murk it. Yeah. Oh, there he is! Right in the spine. You can't ra- Oh! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Wait a minute. These things went down like a sack of fucking potatoes. Can I- can, I can search it. <laughs> I got his teeth. Uh, okay. Weird situation. Come on. Uh, I didn't realize that I was gonna have multiple. I thought Sasquatch was one and only one. Is it a violet snowdrop, or is it one of those stupid hummingbirds? <gasps> no, it's got to be a violet snowdrop. Violet snowdrop. There we go. Yes. Four more to go. I'm getting rejuvenated here. I'm on my second wind. I saw a starving horse and it reminded me of Eugenia Cooney, but it can't anymore because she's actually eating food and keeping it down, so good for her. <clears throat> Just remember everybody, spitters are quitters. <laughs> hello, hello, what's this thing? I see a little violet snowdrop. Might as well. That's one. And is this two over here? Indeed it is. There you are. Clever, clever. Should I just walk on foot? I might as well. Fuck it. Get those high knees going. 
have my horse just follow me in the distance. It doesn't like me very much anyway. All right, I'm gonna hop on you. Just so that way we don't miss out on the, the sea squitch. Where is he? I see an undead cougar. Ah, no, there he is. I found him. You think you can get away? I've shot you in your ass cheek. Ha ha ha. Lick my taint. Getting close. That's what I yell every time I'm about to come. I'm getting close. Do you really want to fuck? Oh. Wow. <laughs> Went down. Oh, he's still alive. Go for the spine. It's the weak point. <laughs> I don't know why the spine seems to work so well on them. Is that because where their zipper is, they're weakest? Oh, what's this? Is this it? Yes, it is. One more? Two more. One more. One more, okay. Let's grab that one more while Let's I'm go. here. Then we'll kill some more sand squatches. Oh, this might be it. I see it. Uh, I'm stuck. There we go. <laughs> That'd, get one, that'd be one way for the game to glitch. Get me just stuck in between a bush and my horse. Nice. Oh, yes, it's unlocked the mission. Okay. That's good. That is very good. I don't want to miss out on this chance to murder all Sasquatches. Is that him? That's him. It's fine. Hell yeah. Could take more of your teeth. Make some Sam Squatch dentures. Okay, so he's over here somewhere? We're over here. Oh, six skills, dude. I didn't realize, like, John was a skater boy. Now, where is he? <gasps> there. <coughs> Almost choked on my gas. Hell yeah. There's gonna be one left and it's gonna speak perfect English and it's gonna be British and it's gonna be like, Why are you kidding my people? We were just here trying to fornicate with the trees. That is how we make Sasquatch babies. We put our honey in their combs and away we go. Oh, uh, am I correct? Tell me a joke, my life. <laughs> I don't really have jokes up on uh, ready to go. Oh. Shoot me. Oh, I will, you foul creature of the night. Running me peace. Why's that? Keep you from eating more babies? Eating babies? In the name of all the traits, what are you talking about? Human. Well, it does speak perfect English. You eat babies. You have to to survive. Everyone knows that. <laughs> it's your fault. We eat berries and mushrooms, you fool. But we did. Now none of us are left. Some maniac's been murdering us. Oops. The last of my kind. We've lived in these hills a thousand years. You ain't kind of my bad. <laughs> John, you're such a fucking idiot. My family is gone. My kind is gone. Shoot me. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> How hairy do you think I am? Stop! <laughs> I have no choice but to kill him. Ah, what? There we go. Oh, he's in the sit down position. Is it, wait, did he die sitting down? <laughs> They're extinct now, sir. 
Oh, bloody hell, finally. I love how they treat these zombies like they're just such a minor nuisance. No. Because I've got something you want. Trust me, you cynical bastard. A little scream at the end. Thank you. <laughs> what was with that weird little pop out giggle? Ah, here you go. It's just a couple buttons. If I've got my mathematics correct, they'll blow the buggers apart. And if you've got your sums wrong, oh, ye of little faith. Now listen, John. You're going to need some more serious weaponry. I've got a plan, <laughs> but you need to pick up some old parts at Riley's charge. Another shopping trip. Yeah. Well, excuse me if my efforts at salvation are interrupting your busy social calendar, John. I'm only trying to help because... Because we're old friends. I know. You better not be wasting my time. Uh, me? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Perish the thought. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of goofy shit is this? Oh, oh, I'm here already. Uh, got it. <laughs> the box just scream at me. Nice. West Dickens. Uh, you. <laughs> That's true. Sixty dollars for Resident Evil Three. Well, for me it was eighty bucks for where I live, so it was, that Don't was not worth it. That's why I got the refund. Get out here. Are you alone? If it was half the no. price, then hell yeah. I brought the great mass hordes of the undead with me. Of course I'm alone. It's not the undead I'm worried about, dear boy. I kind of like them. Because that multiplayer it's was the shit. I can't stand. What's happened? No, don't be like that. I haven't done anything. Or stolen anything. Or even lied. That much. What then? <laughs> A bunch of people just chased me out of town. They blame me for everything that's happened. Who would have guessed? I tell you, John Marston, I've been selling health tonics for years, from here to Timbuktu, and never once has there been a, a demonic bloodlust or the undead rising up. It's preposterous. You don't know okay. that. No. They want to hang me. Me. An honest salesman. That's an oxymoron. That? Snake oil merchant who cried wolf. Well, yeah, something like that. Um, well, I'm headed south. I'm, I'm headed down to Mexico. I hear things are much better down there, not to mention the, uh, the climate and the nice locals, but uh, also the merciful lack of cannibalistic morons with infectious eye diseases. <laughs> oh, <did you laughs> what want the fuck? The bits and bobs I requested? Sure. Oh, ha, ha, excellent. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> okay. Just turns around, hands me a heroin needle. Ooh, a broom. An no, apple. A trumpet? Why does he have such random shit in his trunk? No, 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 no. Was that nitro, nitro, no. glycerin? <laughs> nitro glycerin. Uh, and a blunderbuss. Here you go. <laughs> I risked my life for this. A blunderbuss. It's this held together with tape. Is this 1850? Oh, ye of such little faith! You've been hanging around cattle and killers too long. You've got the compassion of a mass murderer and the intellect of a cow patty. <laughs> Stick your faith in this gun where the sun don't shine. 
This is the weapon of choice for demonic horde killers everywhere, from Romania to Edinburgh and all the other places the undead roam. You can put pretty much anything into it and blow up. Nobody's ever seen this shit before. Go. Makes your rifle look like a pea shooter. Damn it, Nigel. You better not be lying to me. Would I lie to you, John? Uh, to others, I admit the occasional uh, <clears throat> sin of omission. Mm. But you never, dear boy. Now, never, never uh, at all. Now, I am headed down to Mexico. Is there any chance that uh, I will see you there? Yeah. We shall see. I don't know how you got there. All the bridges were apparently out. If you're interested, I should be at Solomon's Folly in a few days trying to figure out a way to get in. I hear the border is not as open as it used to be. I guess that means we're taking the ferry. Ta -ta. <laughs> oh boy. What will I do with him? How do I do that? Set is a really cool horse. Hmm? Oh, the one that I have is a really cool horse? <laughs> In a time of enormous crisis, I might have known the government have you boys doing the work of a common clerk. Nice. Thank you for your input. He's definitely the one I wanted so the most. Funny. That or death. The other two are eh. They don't really look good. Like family anything. finds life quite so funny right now. Family? I assume she was a common killer. She's a missing person. Missing presumed dead, I guess. But you keep cracking them jokes. I'm sorry, mister. I guess I spoke a little out of turn. I ain't the one you should be apologizing to. Just find the girl. She's 15. Millicent Waterbury. Okay. So it's like the opposite of bounty hunting. Hmm. Take down the poster? Alright. I mean, I didn't really want to do it, but that's okay. I'll take it. <clears throat> Something I can always pick up later. Oh, maybe not. It wants me to do it now. Okay. Alright. Oh, Shit. Alright, well. <laughs> I've accidentally agreed to this. Oi, oi, oi. Somehow you have the Karen hair as well as the blue haired girl. Dude, I am a Karen. Can I speak to your manager, Daglin? <laughs> Why didn't you sell me all the toilet paper in your store? That's it. I want to speak to your manager. I also want to go to a brony convention. And I want to complain to their manager about how they didn't let me get spooned by a 12-year-old. Because <laughs> that's what I think happens at brony conventions. Some super old dude <laughs> goes there to get spooned by some fucking 12-year-old that kind of looks like Rainbow Dash, but doesn't. But he's just too socially awkward and tries to take him to Neverland Ranch, which is what he calls the backseat of his car. Ah, pedo jokes. It's the one thing I want to do on a live stream. Make fun of pedophiles. Ha! Ah! I didn't even see that hole there, said the pedophile to the child in his, in his Neverland Ranch. <clears throat> I've been, I've been, I don't know how I've gotten the growth that I've gotten in the last little bit and I'm not talking about the weird bump on my ass uh, <laughs> in general I'm just surprised at how fast my channel's been going up I don't know why she's complaining so much they haven't gotten inside yet it's not like she's trapped in there with one of them too if anything she's just bringing more attention to them it's like bitch relax <laughs> What are they gonna do to- oh, okay. Well, that was weird. Uh, alright, well, I don't know why it started me like that. Go away, lady! Exit only! Well, I mean, me and you probably started around the same time, right? Like, doing this? Thank God for YouTube, or else I don't think I would have grown as much. But... What am I? I think I'm at exactly 420 followers. Are you Millicent? <laughs> yes! Come on. That's hilarious to me. I love it. Alright, so do I like, do I rope tie her? What, what, is she just gonna jump on my horse? God isn't real. What were you doing out here by yourself? We were so hungry. 
I think I was a little bit early. Okay, that, that does make sense. Oh yeah, my flaming horse. Climb on. Let's get you home. Be careful. He's about 470 degrees Celsius. John. John That's awesome seeing because yesterday was 420. I actually hit 420 on 420. It was great. I was like, why wasn't I streaming at this time? What the fuck? I have a small farm up there. I got the <laughs> I got the 420th follower literally when I was not streaming, and that was the annoying part to me. I sure hope so. Otherwise, well, I don't want to think about the otherwise. John, you're a gentleman and a scholar, but you're also a rapist and a pedophile. Just just throwing that out there. I actually don't think John is a pedophile, but he could be. He could very well could be. Oh, these are a lot of zombies. Holy Let's shit. Go. The frame rate. This game was not meant to have that many zombies in George's Gap. <laughs> could you imagine the person that like came up with the name for this? <laughs> they were just like, ah, I don't, you know what this reminds me of there, George? And George is just like, what? And he's just like, yo, Gap, that big old thing you call an ass. And he's just like, well, you know what? You weren't complaining last night, yo! And then that is when it became known as George's Gap. And then, of course, because it was 1911, they got hung for being gay. Which is ironic, because they were both hung. Somewhere in between, I reckon. It's some kind of punishment for our sins, isn't it? It's a curse! I'm honestly surprised when she said it's a punishment for my si or for our sins that she doesn't just say, This is because I did anal with uncle. What did I come to? <laughs> you came to me making jokes about... I don't, what was I doing? Oh, George's Gap. <laughs> Someone wants to hunt me? Not you. Here we are. I can't seem to get away from this place. We have another friend here, Chris Pratt. His name is Deglin. You've came to beauty. Well, I mean, I'm at least a solid six out of seven on the Richter scale. Every time I take a step, a building in Japan sort of collapses. Your family, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Now they're both walking up the stairs to get touched by her father, Uncle. Plenty of more just like him, Mr. Comedian. We got a whole host of missing folk. Mr. Comedian? He knew me! Oh, wow! It's like the rectum scale. <laughs> it's how many inches you could fit horizontally. All right, well, I didn't want to do that. Six hours, guys. Six hours. Yes, it's true. It is six hours. What? what? I only have to do that one mission? Hell yeah. Where's Mr. West Dickens now? 